Hello, and thank you for your interest and attendance at this seminar. I am Sherlock, welcome to my D9 presentation by which I anticipate to progress to candidacy in the Doctor of Philosophy in Computing and Information Sciences program at ORT. This presentation represents 11 months of effort centered around multiple inquiries which has led to this scoped research agenda. Activities around these efforts have resulted in a preliminary research topic, understanding the software development process, participation, role dynamics and coordination issues. Before introducing the problem space and today's presentation agenda, let me take a brief opportunity to also introduce the other members of this research project. These are my supervisors Professor Stephen McDonnell and Dr. Andy Connor. The following areas are outlined during today's talk, study objectives and motivation. Study scope and context and definitions. Literature review and research questions. Philosophical commitment and research approach. Progress to date and timetable for completion. Potential contributions. And finally. The acknowledgments and references are presented before the presentation closes with your questions and comments. Concerns with software systems adequacy, project success rates and the adoption of appropriate software process models have been ubiquitous and long-standing. Despite many suggestions in relation to adopting software methodologies and tools, there remain questions over the outcomes of software development projects. Previous evidence suggests that people factors manifest in communication issues and personality conflicts underscore the causes of inadequately performing software teams. Beyond what is reported by software engineering research studies, I have constructed a model, affixed in the center, representing the major findings from empirical studies in the risk management area, which outlines the general problem areas for software development. On examination of this model, it may be deduced that regardless of the technology or tool support, people factors stand at the center of this activity. In fact, even technology issues, or the oversight of these, is created by people. Thus, studying the people perspective of software engineering should provide fruitful avenues for researchers to better understand the software process and to offer recommendations for process improvements. Thus, this work uses software repository data to semantically study software project practitioners communication and personality over multiple projects duration investigate software teams participation and knowledge sharing processes, the dynamics of team structure and team roles and the evolution of software issues. The approach adapted in this study is motivated by multiple variables. Having observed software practitioners team dynamics both as a developer and a team leader, and the impact of personnel choices on team performance, I am optimistic that practitioners' behaviors determine team performance. In addition, software is ubiquitous, and forms the backbone of almost every industry, which points to the criticality of research aimed at understanding and strengthening its processes. Also, there are many opportunities for exploring issues in the problem spaces chosen. My previous contributions in this regard have also attracted positive attention. These variables have all influenced my decision to approach this feat from a behavioral perspective. This study is scoped around software repository artifacts, and practitioners' interaction during software development. The goal is therefore, to seek out software environments where these artifacts are the only means, or is mostly used of interaction during software development to study process issues and personality. Of the many personality models, Maya Briggs's, Cattle's, Kersey's, the Big Five personality framework is selected for use in this work, as it has correlated with language use, and was previously used in similar studies. Additionally, to make the issues in focus partially operational, let me provide you some brief definitions. Firstly, Participation, as it is approached here is considered to be individuals' active involvement in the communication networks. Although, there is scope for correlating contributions made through communication with actual coding activities. 
the reason for studying communication as against solely code may be obvious, evidence has shown that what is captured during communication is reflected in code archives. Additionally, oftentimes what is finally enacted by one individual, is a fusion of knowledge across many individuals and roles. Role as it is studied here, is a reflection of the particular rights, tasks, responsibilities, expectations and behaviors that persons are expected to honor or fulfill. Coordination involves connecting and managing resources and various interdependencies between activities and tasks. Here we study coordination requirement around software issues. There is a vast amount of research in the problem spaces previously defined, a sample of these works are provided here in the literature map. In the participation and knowledge sharing domain, social network analysis and methods involving statistical techniques have been employed mostly during the study of open source mailing lists, see the work provided on the left of the map. And the same has also been done with commercial repositories, seen Guin et al. With deeper approach to being used mostly in older commercial settings and during the study of software engineering students. The study of team structures and team roles have also provided support for the view that role arrangement impacts task performance, see the right of the map. Dynamic teams and team members with willingness to work in multiple roles were also cited as necessary for teamed performance. Finally, in the software issues space shown at the bottom of the map, it is uncovered that requirements clarification issues provides the most challenges for software teams. Coding issues have also been shown to be a major impact area for software practitioners creating software. In considering the participation and knowledge sharing part of the study, it is observed that surface approaches are commonly used during investigations, especially in the study of software communication artifacts. Although, deeper approaches have been recommended and used repeatedly in the education domain, Siju. 1996, for example. This work hoped to employ these deeper approaches to study the questions outlined in a 2E. The effects of team roles arrangement has also been studied mostly using surveys. While the deeper approaches have supported the view that working across roles is necessary for the way current software teams execute their projects. Research did not consider if this actually happens, and during which periods it becomes most critical. The questions outlined in F2I are meant to consider these issues at length. Finally, in order to explore and understand what activities provide the most challenges to software development, such as implementation and coding issues, requirements issues, risks management and coordination concerns, and so on how these activities are accommodated by project participants and whether these activities are stable during the different stages of software development, as a means of load balancing specific expertise, this research project outlines questions J to L. In opening this methodological discussion, I would like to briefly consider the philosophical undertone of this research project. The research issues and questions outlined earlier have driven the research approach selected and the way research tools are to be used during the work, aligning with a pragmatic perspective. Confirmatory aspects of the work favors a positivist framework, where issues are tackled through reductionism, and objective quantitative measures are employed. It is my firm belief that utilizing such an approach exclusively may represent a limitation to the evidence this work is able to provide. To this end, a constructivist approach is engaged to support further in-depth exploration, and to offer avenues for triangulation. Having provided the study overview and problem space, the motivations behind the study, the study scope, literature review and research questions. I am now going to present my research approach and study design. The diagram presented here represents the research tools selected for use during this PhD. This work employs a mixed case study design, both confirmatory and exploratory aspects, that is cross-sectional in nature for researching the issues using multiple units of analysis, both at the team and individual levels. Data mining or knowledge mining is a technique that combines statistics, artificial intelligence, 
pattern recognition and database management to facilitate knowledge extraction from large data sets. Data mining techniques are used to mine the repository data and to extract representative project cases. The Linguistic Inquiry Word Count Tool Linguistic Inquiry Word Count or LUG is a software created after four decades of research using data, spanning many areas of life, collected across USA, Canada and New Zealand. This tool captures over 86 of the words used during conversations and its dimensions correlate with big five personality traits. The example shown towards the bottom of this slide indicates a presence of neuroticism. Social network analysis is used to quantify aspects of network structures in order to support pattern identification in social networks, using mathematical analysis and pictorial representations. This technique is to be utilized to provide preliminary understandings of communication patterns as a way of informing qualitative investigations and for the comparisons of social network structures uncovered during this work with those reported in previous studies. Content analysis CAR, is a technique commonly used by social scientists to study the content of recorded human communication. Content analysts use communication in seeking answers to questions such as who should content analysis prove inadequate for studying roles and software issues. Grounded theory is to be used for leading further qualitative observations. Here is an example of the draft coding scheme for studying participation and knowledge sharing. This coding scheme represents a hybrid classification scheme adapted from Henri and AMP K. 1992, Ju, 1996. Here is my timetable for completion, with thesis delivery expected by mid 2013. With data extraction, data cleaning, and exploration largely completed, the next phase of the work will be to select the project cases and conduct linguistic analysis with the other activities outlined to follow. This study has the potential to provide noteworthy contributions to both academia and industry. Examining the issues outlined here may allow us to unearth how different personalities interact in teams, how personalities are linked to knowledge activities and how to match roles and tasks to personality to produce the most desirable outcomes in terms of performance. Findings may also inform aspects of load balancing during software engineering. Let me take time out to express my gratitude to the supervisors of this project, in particular, Steve for excellent guidance. Although less related, I would also like to acknowledge Anne Philpitt for her early involvement in my development as a researcher, and her patience during my master's work. I still prepare for Anne's rigor whenever I submit progress activities. Here are some additional references. Please browse the next four slides for additional references. Thank you. Any questions or suggestions?